Hey everybody, um, thanks for tuning in to my channel. This video is going to be about the ketogenic diet that I have started along with my husband. It's been, I think, what, when did we start it? It was, it was like April 23rd, I think we started. And I've lost 22 pounds, which, was, which is incredible. Like, I can't even, it's like blowing my mind right now. Um, so if you did not watch my previous video on where I've been and what I've been doing, I kind of explained that I had gained a whole lot of weight. I was up near 200 or just about 200. It's like crazy. I'm only 5'4", five th five so yeah, it's a lot. And part of it was I had a lot of water retention because I have um, chronic congestive heart failure hypertension and all it's a long story and I think I'm if I have a video about that I'll link it sorry about the darkness that we have storms going on today I have a box uh, light lamp light whatever but it's still very dark anyway uh, keto so if you guys are not familiar with keto it is short for the ketogenic diet or key and I consider it like ketogenic lifestyle because it is it's a lifestyle change um, I don't like to think of it like a lot of people are like oh it's a crash diet you're gonna gain all your weight back well I'm in this for the long haul <laughs> and I didn't never thought I would ever say that about a diet because I was so addicted to carbs and sugar and all of that stuff I, I mean that was most of my diet like carbs and sugar I just grazed on it all day long, Pringles and uh, bread, I mean, it's crazy, pretzels, all day long. And because of this heart condition, <laughs> whatever it is, um, I gained a lot of water weight because with congestive heart failure, you can't really process salt and you, gain, you just retain a lot of water and I was retaining a lot. And I just had a lot of inflammation because sugar and carbs, um, glucose, it causes terrible inflammation in your body. Um, I have fibromyalgia, I have arthritis and all of these like autoimmune things. And the worst thing you can do to your body is eat carbs and sugar. I mean, the worst, especially when you have those conditions. And I was just miserable. I felt terrible every day I didn't want to get out of bed Ugh, I was so swollen all the time it was just horrible guys I mean and yeah I mean I didn't like the way I looked but it was more than that it was the way I felt I felt terrible and I was moody and cranky and you you name it I just it was bad so we started this and the first few days I'm gonna tell you it was it was rough I mean you go through what's called the keto flu and um, it was rough especially if your main diet consists of carbs and sugar and you stop cold turkey and you do this diet you're gonna feel it and, I, and we felt it and, and it was like you're just exhausted and you get headaches and you feel nauseous and it was pretty bad but you know what after a few days you feel wonderful I mean it's just it lifts, you can think clear, you can sleep. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It was just amazing. And so if you don't know what the difference is with the ketogenic diet and with the standard American diet, um, with keto, you burn fat um, in the form of ketones. So instead of, with the standard American diet, you burn glucose, sugar glucose as fuel and your body goes up and down all day long with your insulin and glucose level and you get really really hungry and then you eat and it drops and you go up and you go down and it's constant you, you feel hungry all the time with keto you get into ketosis and you burn ketones which is fat and you your stored fat and your dietary fat and your insulin is very is glucose and insulin is lower and you're very you know consistent instead of up and down and up and down so you don't feel that extreme hunger you know you never get hangry and oh, I always forget to mention this but I'm, we're also doing intermittent fasting 
Um, and intermittent fasting is basically just going, you know, whatever amount of hours you set as your intermittent fasting. We're doing 16, so we eat eight, fast for 16. So we do, we stop eating at eight o'clock at night and then we eat our next meal at noon the next day. Um, in that time, we have what's called bulletproof coffee and that helps um, make you feel full and it's basically just, we use, um, we do the coffee, we use heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and um, MCT, um, MCT oil powder. <laughs> Vanilla flavors, delicious. Um, I'll link below some of these products that I mentioned, uh, but the MCT oil is wonderful. It really helps you burn fat. Um, so, and it helps you stay full. So, and it does not break your fast. So you can drink that during your fast. All right, so then when we do eat, we eat things like rotisserie chicken, you know, chicken thighs, uh, and you always wanna get like, your animal meats, you, you want to get them with a the fat, with as much fat, because you want to get the animal fat, basic chicken salad, so Duke's mayonnaise. Uh, oh my goodness, you don't, it's, you're not lacking anything with this diet. Um, and of course, green leafy vegetables, it's very important. We, you know, do spinach, we do broccoli, cauliflower, um, you know, lettuce, whatever. <laughs> And you can have burgers. We have burgers with lettuce instead of a bun. Um, you know, pickles. Uh, I don't know. Lots of butter. But anytime you do like your animal meats, your butters, any kind of like dairy, whatever, you want to do the grass fed, you know, farm raised, grass fed eggs, lots of eggs. Um, so you just, oh, and then sweets. I mean, I make fat bombs, which are like, I have these fat bombs now that are delicious. It's like um, almond butter and uh, unsweetened cocoa, and you can use stevia, monk fruit, anything like erythritol to sweeten whatever you're making. Just don't use sugar. And there's certain sweeteners that you want to stay away from, you know, aspartame and all that stuff. You can have the dark chocolate, like, my husband and I will have a square of dark chocolate at night. It just, if you have any craving for sweets whatsoever, it takes it away. Um, there's Lily's chocolate, which is amazing. It's sweetened with stevia and it's delicious. And it doesn't affect your insulin levels. The most informative book that I have, The Ketogenic Diet is the Ketogenic Bible. And it's Authoritative Guide to Ketosis by Dr. Jacob Wilson and Ryan Lowry, PhD. So this is uh, pretty comprehensive and scientific. So, you know, if you l like to read those kind of things, that's a very good book. And we have The Everyday Ketogenic Kitchen by Carolyn Ketchum. Very good recipes in there. And then I love these guys. These, are, these guys are awesome. Uh, Keto Made Easy by Keto Connect. I love these guys. Mega and Matt, they're amazing. If you don't follow them, you need to be following them. Um, and there's people you can follow online, like um, Dr. Ken Berry. Oh boy, so many, <laughs> so many. I'm gonna link as many as I can think of to, that you can, you know, really good resources. <sighs> and what else? Um, we just started going to the gym. We wanted to give our bodies time to kind of adjust to the diet, and um, but you can exercise on keto, of course. I mean, you should exercise. When you go out, like you know how sometimes you, you do a diet and you, you go out to a restaurant, and you're just like, oh, I don't know what I can eat, that you don't know what's in it. There are pretty safe things that you can eat in restaurants, like um, usually any kind of burger, but just take the bun off. Um, and you kind of get to know like what condiments you can eat, and stuff like that. And then there's lots of resources online, like um, eating out when you're in keto, like keto guide to restaurants or whatever. And it, it gives you a breakdown of what you can eat. And I don't know, we, we never, you never feel like you're deprived ever. Like I don't, and my husband doesn't. And 
Your, my whole relationship with food has changed. Before this, I have always had this mindset, like, um, I'd rather just take a pill to, to get the food, like take a food pill and be done with it. I don't like thinking about food. I don't like, I never liked preparing it. I'm just like, ugh, I don't, I don't care. Just give me a pop tart. I'm good. Um, you know, I was never a foodie. I, I could care less about restaurants and you know, I'm like, okay, it's food, whatever. You know, I, I, it wasn't a big deal, but now something has changed and I really appreciate food a lot more. It's really hard to put, you know, put it to words, but just to, to like, you appreciate the food that you eat and you, I, I take time to prepare it and um, I enjoy preparing it now. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's, it, my whole mindset toward it has changed and I think it's really cool. I think it's just better for the family, you know, for the kids, because my kids are very picky and um, especially my son, he, um, he's on the spectrum and he has food issues, he has texture, a lot of issues with food and he's getting so much better because I think my husband and I are getting much better and it's just better for the whole, whole family. This, this is all I gotta say. Um, I'm trying to think of everything. If I can find some pictures, because I did not like to have my picture taken at all at my heaviest, but I'm going to check my husband's phone because he probably has some pictures that he took that I wasn't aware of. So <laughs> if I can find pictures of what, you know, what I looked like then and you know so 22 pounds is pretty good um, uh, and it's not really all about the number either it's just how how you feel and I just I feel good my blood pressure isn't low I check it because I've read that um, when you do the ketogenic diet your blood pressure can go down that hasn't happened with me. I still take my medicines, um, and that's okay. I mean, if I have to do that the rest of my life, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to, then I will. Uh, I went off my cholesterol medicine. <laughs> cholesterol is another big issue, another huge can of worms, okay? Look up Dave Feldman. I'm gonna list him below as well if you guys are concerned about cholesterol. The information that's coming out now is it's changing everything. Um, so anyway, went off my blood pressure medicine, I mean, <laughs> cholesterol medicine, and um, I'm weaning off of my Lexapro, which is my depression and anxiety medicine. Oh, I had an issue with that a while back because I thought, this is before I started keto, I was like, I'm going to stop. Well, no, it wasn't even, I didn't plan on stopping, but... There's this whole issue with this one doctor I went to and I ran out of medicine. I just said, hey, I'm just gonna stop taking it. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Don't ever go cold turkey with any antidepressants, anti-anxiety, whatever, don't do it. Cause I was in a world of hurt, a world of hurt. So I, I went back on like a half dose and then I'm um, weaning down a half that half and now I'm just starting to feel better from that. So I'm on like a tiny bit and hopefully soon I will be off of that. I don't know if I have anything else. I'm sure there is lots. Um, I will keep you updated if you want more videos. Uh, if you go to my, if you sub follow me on Snapchat, I post pictures of what I eat sometimes and kind of discuss it a little bit on there. So if you want to kind of see what I eat and um, I don't know if you just want more information, more videos, let me know. <sighs> I think that's it. I know this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry, but I can't help it. This I'm excited and I want you to be excited. <laughs> All right, guys, as always, I love you. God bless. Bye. <laughs>